what did you find was you know helpful in terms of writing essays? Because I know a lot of students do struggle with economics essays. Yeah. They don't really know what to put. Is it like English in terms of skill sets? Is it not? Um, what's some advice you give to a student who is struggling with the economics essays? You'll find that students who are really good at English are really bad at economics because it's it's the the principle in economics is the, 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 they expect you to be extremely concise and extremely clear in your structure and extremely organised in the way you present the content. So I think that's that's where a lot of students fall down. They see an essay and they just start writing. Big mistake. The introduction should be short. Your 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 your, your successive paragraph should be just short, one point each. And, and, and be as straight to the point as possible. Uh, as, as for the general difficulties people have with economics essays, I think a lot of them aren't that detailed. They don't include the sort of detail they want to see. And again, that's mastering the content. What is a lot of content, again, in hindsight? Um, the odd statistic does help. Uh, having said that, you can go overboard and rather than just line all these statistics out, which they don't want to see, um, it's good to have one or two few illuminating statistics. Uh, I think a lot of people might struggle with economics as well because they forget to include diagrams. At the end of the day, there is a quantitative basis to mathematics and they do ex uh, to economics. There is a quantitative basis for mathematics as well. Um, but economics as well, so with the, your demand and supply curves, uh, there are some more complex ones that you can find in the back of your textbook which are quite good to include as well. Uh, tariff diagrams, etc. They're all quite good to include, and if you can use them effectively as well, describing in paragraphs what's happening in the actual graph, it, it, it easily differentiates you from everyone else. A lot of people don't include them. Um, I was quite a fan of them. Having said that, it's a fairly time-consuming process to draw a diagram in the exam, but I think it does pay pay dividends. Um, the other thing with economics as well is they don't actually have to be that long. You can only write four pages which may work out to be 800 words. I think they've actually stipulated you only need to write 800 word essays from this point onwards to get full marks. So I think that's the focus. Just get to the point, answer the question, strong links back, and if you can show some of that argumentative flair, what's going on in the news, both sides of the story, then, then you'll, you'll do very well.